Joining us is Congressman Matt Gates, a member of the House Judiciary and Armed Services Committees. Congressman, great to see you. Uh, let, let's start with uh, the, the appearance of the Google uh, CEO. I, it's, I think it's nice that he deigned to actually sully himself by uh, walking uh, into the, uh, the nation's capital. What do you think? I'm glad we're having this hearing because we cannot allow the leftists out in Silicon Valley to reshape the four corners of the debate, Lou. Now, I don't want Washington running my life, but I sure as heck don't want Silicon Valley running my life. And that's why we need to make sure that, that we've really got an opportunity for all sides to be heard in the public square. You know, I don't want to see liberals or Democrats censored. I actually want to beat them by having better arguments. Unfortunately, the left always tries to throw a wet blanket over the ability of conservatives do you to even make their argument? Do you think that uh, there's a room here for regulation? Uh, because uh, it, it, we've got to know what the starting point is. Because we hear the, the nonsense, I think, uh, from the right that you just don't regulate. That's, you know, that's crazy talk, uh, and, uh, in my opinion. And, and from the left, you hear the crazy talk about you've got to uh, decide who the winners and losers are. Equally crazy and both destructive. Well, I don't love the idea of regulating as a first right. impulse. What I would do, Lou, is I would go find the special protections that Google and Facebook and Twitter and other companies enjoy in the law, and I would get rid of them. Yeah. That way, if people are being mistreated, they have a legal right to sue. They have a chance to go and make their case yeah. and alter conduct. Unfortunately, what we have now is the federal government giving special protections to technology companies that they don't even give to newspapers. Yeah, well... Uh yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm not too thrilled about <laughs> about either way, uh, either subsidizing or censoring. But the reality is, there does have to be regulation. That does not. That should not be censorship. In point of fact, it should define conduct that has been traditional in this country on the part of either uh, telecommunications carriers, uh, which are heavily and uh, regulated now, uh, despite deregulation uh, back in the 80s. Uh, let, let's turn to, if we may now, China and, and this, Malder, this Malderdash uh, warning uh, from the Chinese about war or depression seems to be the only outcome. Uh, not that they would quit stealing $600 billion a year in American intellectual property. Not that they would uh, ins insist on balanced trade with the United States. I mean, who the hell do these people think they are? Well, they, it's understandable to see that they think that they can run all over America because for the last generation, under both Republicans and Democrats, they have. That's Lou, but right. you know, now we have a president who's standing up to China. What I'm most excited about is that President Trump is protecting the American innovator. The Chinese have stolen our solar technology, our innovative energy technology. They bring it back to China. They produce it for cheap uh, uh, amounts, and then they go and dump it putting American innovation out of business. President Trump has said no more. He put over $40 billion of tariffs on Chinese technology. He's ratcheted down their ability to infect our defense industry pipeline. And now I think China has met their match in Donald Trump, and that's not something they're used to, and so yeah. they're reacting very strangely. Yeah, but he's got a lot of folks uh, in his administration. Uh, he's also got a lot of folks on Wall Street in particular. Uh, working uh, against him, uh, throwing lots of money and time. Uh, they are, uh, you know, on a shuttle to Beijing, for crying out loud, representing the company's interest and not the U.S. interest, their interest. And in point of fact, uh, as, the, as the vice president uh, himself said, uh, they're operating uh, these people uh, in Wall Street and big business in this country, U.S. multinationals, as unregistered foreign agents. They are working against the president's policies. The biggest threat to our liberty and our prosperity is big government. The second biggest threat is big business because there is no body to kick and there is no soul to damn with a lot of these multinational corporations who would just yeah. assume move jobs where it's cheaper and where there are no environmental regulations. President Trump has put the American worker at the center of our policies. And, Lou, that's one of the reasons why wages are rising faster than they have in more than a decade because we've actually got policies that put the worker first, not the Wall Street tycoons. Another cry for regulation from Congressman Mackey. I'm just kidding, Congressman. I appreciate it. Good to have you with us. Thank you.